Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm Andy and I am so glad you guys have tuned in today because I'm going to show you guys one of my other backup stashes. Now, if you guys have watched any of our other videos or if you've kept up with us, you know that one of my weird idiosyncrasies is that I cannot not have backups of things that I know I use a lot of. So I have a backup brow collection, I've got a backup foundation collection, concealers, primers, all that good stuff. Um, and I think I also have posted a video where I come to a realization that I have so much makeup that I sometimes forget about products. So I've done this, um, what I would call like a mini series on our channel of like backups of stuff. This is the idea is it's a mini series that we'll be doing where I show you guys, I dig into it and I kind of figure out, you know, what I have that I know about what I forgot I had um, and you guys can see the products that I have used and what I like and the ones that I'm still going to use and then I also kind of challenge myself to make sure that these get used more frequently. That being said, because of how the brow one went when we filmed it, it literally was like me just pulling random stuff out and I was like, I don't even know what's in here. I forgot I own this. I don't know when I got this type stuff. Um, I didn't want this one to be like that. My primer collection, this is the primer collection, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but this is the primer collection. Um, this is all, I used to have all of my primers in here, like eyeshadow primers and everything included. The bag got too big, so that got separated, and now I have like a little bag full of my eyeshadow primers, and I've got this one, which is my face primers. So today is the face primer backup collection, but um, I went through it and I reorganized it. I looked at everything and I actually, I don't have a ton of primers. I have more than normal people should probably. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the products themselves. It's just this nice little, like it's honestly kind of perfect for the shapes of the primers I have. Most of them stand up and then some of them lay on flat on top. Nice, pretty Victoria's Secret bag. And then inside you can see this mess of organized chaos. And um, on top, I have the, I talked about this. This is the No Problem Prime Essence Oil from Touch and Soul. Actually, I, I did this in my BoxyCharm Forgotten Favorites. And then as I was going through my stash today and looking at everything, so I didn't be like, oh, like everything I did during the problem, I was like, oh, I don't remember the, what this is. Um, I found out that I have actually gotten two of the poor primers from Touch and Soul from BoxyCharm. And this is the second one. It's the Smooth and Pore Covering Top Secret for Perfect Makeup. So I have two of the products from them. Like I said, I really liked this one because it really was different from any primer I've used before in terms of it's like kind of like a serum where it just kind of massages into your face because it's an oil, not a... I, I guess normally I look for pore filler, so it's more of, it gives you more of that like kind of almost plastic like silicone-y overtone and then it makes your makeup go on smoothly. That is not what that pore um, essence oil does, but the I think this primer will be more like that, so I'm interested to try it and see how it works for me. Um, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. It is like this really pretty like pearlescent liquid, white pearlescent liquid that comes out and you just put it on. It kind of goes on like a moisturizer. Uh, I actually really like this one. I normally have it in minis. There's another mini floating around down here somewhere. But I used to have like a pretty good number of these and I wound up using them so frequently that I kind of drained out the little mini collection of them. So I am a huge fan of this one. I really like Becca's products. I don't use a ton of them. Like I don't have a lot on hand, but what I have used, they all seem to be really, really cohesive with what I'm looking for and with my skin type. So I, I'm a big fan of their stuff. I have, I showed you guys this in one of my haul videos. I have not used it yet because I think I'm gonna use it for my NYX video, but this is the Pore Filler Primer Base. Then I got this blurring primer from Color FX that came in my BoxyCharm probably six months ago that I still haven't used. But yeah, I love Color FX, so I'm sure I will love this whenever I get to it. I've got a couple of these. I've talked about Smashbox doing their great little priming sets that are like $15 and you get four different primers. Um, around Christmas time. This was this year's, they had this pretty gold pattern. Uh, they had some matching palettes that went along with it, but I picked up two of the sets because I know I love these and I use them frequently. So I have not used these. These are just their photo finish um, in a different little box. So you guys have heard me talk about the photo finish primer before. I've used it before in tutorials and I've shown you it in my makeup bag. So yeah. Uh, this is the same, this is from that same collection. I've got two of these floating around in here, I know. Yep, there's a second one. So this is the Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer and a moisturizer. I have not used this one yet, but 
I think it's an interesting concept. I mean, essentially your primer should kind of act as a moisturizer if you have dry skin. So normally my skin's oily, so I'm not too concerned about that. But um, from last year's kit, not from this, not from 2018, but from 2017, I got these two, which were their green ones. They didn't do like a special holiday packaging for that, but I got two of these little green ones. Um, just try and pull out all the Smashbox ones at once because I know there's a bunch in here. I say a bunch. This may be the last one. Oh, there we go. So then I've just got like a bunch of like the little minis. These I think normally come with like free gifts. These I didn't purchase. They came with, you know, in the, the big 50 piece kit that you get sometimes when they're doing deals and stuff at Ulta. So have a small collection of those. Um, this, you guys have all heard me talk about my Stilla One Step Color Corrector Primer. Well, last time it went on sale and I purchased it, which has been a while because it's lasted me for a really long time. But um, I picked up this one as well. This is an Illuminate one. So it's the same concept, but instead of doing the color correcting, it's supposed to give you like a natural glow. I have not used this one yet because I'm still on my color correcting one, but I'm really interested to try it because, you know, I love that primer so much that I think the idea of like an illuminating one that gives you like a nice natural glow instead of the color correcting one might be a nice change for me. So that's why I got that one. And then this is the Yes 2, the Cucumbers one. I also did this in a haul really actually love it um it was one of the when i pulled out that haul and i finally did it and i unboxed everything i was like i want to use this one immediately because i really want to know what it does and it's just so refreshing um i know i talked about it in another video where i talked about like updates on products and stuff but it's just such a refreshing primer it really makes your skin feel like calm which i know cucumber is supposed to be calming and anti-inflammatory so it's like I really, I was very happy I picked this one up um, and it's got a lot of product in it. So I'm sure I, I will be using it for a good while. Okay, so the next ones I have, um, I picked up, I've got two of each of these different ones from different brands, but they're like just similar enough that I was like, I'll show you guys all of them together because why not? So this, these two are from Benefit. It's the Poor Professional and then the for professional matte rescue. Um, I actually really like this. I have like a mini, mini, mini one, like a really tiny one in my makeup kit right now of the matte pore professional. And I actually like it just to like really my nose. I feel like my nose pores are really big. So I really just kind of do that when it's, they're looking really bad. I will put it on my nose and just use it and then use a different primer on the rest of my face because I like, it's honestly like so pore filling. I, there's sometimes when I feel like it almost is like suffocating on my skin. But for my really bad trouble areas, my T-zone and my nose, a lot of times I'll just put it in there to kind of get those pores all leveled out so I can have like a smooth application. Um, and then these, I love these. These are the Laura Geller Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Under Makeup Primer and the Tinted one. Um, I've not used the Tinted one, so I don't know like how, I know with tints it's a lot of times hard because it may change the color of your foundation as you're putting it on. So I don't know how it's going to work with me. And if I'd have to adjust my foundation, I'm sure I would. But um, but the the original non-colored one, I absolutely love it. Um, I had a big one of it that came in like a Laura Geller kit. It was a full size. And I used that for like a good six months. And then when it ran out, I was so sad. I was like, no. But I still have a little mini in there just for like moral support. I always like don't want to use it because I'm like, it's going to be then all gone. And even I can't buy another one or anything. It's I don't know, but I really do like those. Um, I've got a couple of the little Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Prime Set and Refresh Sprays. Those are like super minis. They're kind of like those little like mini sample perfumes that you get. It's the same concept. And then I've got a Bare Minerals Prime Time, uh, the Tarte Base Tape, the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer, and a MAC Natural Radiance Base Illuminaire. Um, all of those came in different sets, kits, gifts, things like that. That is my stack of backups for my face primers. Like I said, it's not as excessive as my brow stuff, but it's still a good amount of, of product. So um, if you guys liked it, I would really like to hear in the comments what you liked, which primers you use, which primers you don't use, that you haven't tried, that you would like to try. Um, I would love recommendations about primers that I should use because I'm always looking for good suggestions and trying new makeup. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and check out some of our other videos. And hopefully if you like us and like what you see, you will feel inclined to then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we post videos and I talk about my mass accordion collection. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly but with a dark twist.